The Stanley Cup staying right here in Champa Bay. The thunder is obviously roaring inside and outside of Amelie Arena, and the celebration begins right now. The Bolts took down the Canadiens on home ice tonight, one to zip. Thank you so much for watching Nightside. I'm Carolina Lead. It looks like Mayor Jane Castor's wish came true for the Bolts to win on home ice. And the fans, well, some may say that loss on Monday in Montreal was worth it now that you look at it. Well, we have team coverage from Emily Arena tonight. Our Ryan Bass and Evan Klosky are outside of Emily Arena near Thunder Alley. Angelina Salcedo is also on the ground in Thunder Alley. And Ben Murphy is inside the arena. We want to go right to Ryan and Evan first. Back-to-back -back champions, your Tampa Bay Lightning, the ninth franchise in NHL history to go back-to-back -back winning the Stanley Cup. You wanted some confetti, Mr. Evan Klaus? We got confetti, baby. The Lightning, they win the championship here in 2021, going back-to-back. -back. Your Conn Smythe Award winner, the MVP of the Stanley Cup playoffs, Andre Vasilevsky. What a performance here tonight, a 1-0 shutout. That's all this guy does in clinchers, is shut out his opponents. The fifth time he's done it in a row, and I don't know where this team would be without Vasi. Uh, he stepped up in the biggest moments throughout this entire playoffs. It's, it's a Conn Smythe MVP award, well-deserved for the goaltender. Just an unbelievable effort from him and this Tampa Bay Lightning team to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in less than a year. Their third Stanley Cup in franchise history. This crowd behind us has moved. Nobody has filed out of Emily Arena right now. Everybody watching the cup presentation on the ice as we speak. And how about the rookie, Ross Cole, who you see right there on your screen? Four playoff goals for the Lightning. That sets a rookie record for this franchise. What an unbelievable player. One guy who didn't win the cup last year gets to be with this team and gets to lift Lord Stanley. Yeah, and he's the only rookie on this team getting the shot. And that just goes to show you the depth of this Tampa Bay Lightning squad. The Canadiens did a great job stopping the best players for this Lightning team all series long, but they could not deal with the third and fourth line. And when it's all said and done, and we talk about why this group won the Stanley Cup final in five games, it's because of the depth of this team. It's also because a lot of those top tier players, the Steven Stamkos, the Nikita Kucherov, Vassy Hedman's of the world, all world players, now back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champs. Let's go down to Thunder Alley, where the party is just beginning. 10 Tampa Bay's Angela Salcedo is down there. Angie, a lot of Happy Bolts fans right there beside you. Ryan, this party is just getting started right now. The Stanley Cup is being presented to the team, and the crowd here is going wild. I want to introduce you to two fans that were a little bit nervous, I would say, towards the end of the game, waiting for this to finish. Mike and Caden, how are you guys feeling right now? Absolutely fantastic. It's so great to see them bring home another cup tonight. We're ecstatic about it. I know. Uh, Kaden, you seemed a little bit nervous. Walk me through your emotions the last few minutes of this game. Well, I mean, like, Montreal was just, like, shooting the puck at, the, at Vasilevsky the entire time. And I was just nervous. I was hoping they would get the puck out, and I didn't know what to do. And, like, it was just winding down and hoping we'd get the puck out, and we did. And we come away with the second Stanley Cup. How do you feel about them making history tonight? It's fantastic. Back to back is absolutely incredible. But now to have three on our record, absolutely fantastic. Now I've spoken to a, a whole bunch of fans that were here, and they were telling me, you know, we are really becoming a dynasty team, and this was the first step towards us doing that. Two years in a row, fans out here at capacity, outside at capacity, inside as well to witness history tonight. Evan and Ryan, I know that you guys were in there. I can only imagine what that was like. Everybody was on edge, right? And you could hear the building. They were singing along to the national anthem. They were so pumped for this puck drop to happen. And when that first goal went through the net by Ross Colton, the entire arena exploded in joy. Every save, every moment, every yep. minute that ticked down got closer and closer. Jubilation inside Emily right now. And we wanted more than one goal, but that's all that this team needed. And this goes back to something Alex Kaloran said at the very beginning of this Stanley Cup playoff run. He said, you know, he thought it was a cliche when players said, when you win it once, you just want to keep winning it again. And that's the urge of this team, getting them through this entire postseason run. They got the taste of it. They didn't have the fanfare. They were stuck in a bubble in Edmonton, and they had to enjoy this by themselves, which they did. And I'm sure they loved hanging out with the Cup. But, you know, we have a very happy mayor because this team was able to get it done in five, 
and they really get the send-off they deserve showcasing the fans and all the the entire year that we had watching this team from afar and to enjoy this moment together in Tampa Bay with the year that we're having in this city, unbelievable. Tampa Bay is on a roll right now. You've got the Rays who went to the World Series, the defending Super Bowl champion Buccaneers, and now you're back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champ. But look at the swag, you got the hat, you got the t-shirts, Tampa Bay, enjoy it. Your championship Tampa Bay Lightning once again hoisting the Stanley Cup on the ice as we speak. Fireworks all around Carolina. The after party, American Social. Oh. Alex Kalorn didn't play in tonight's game five. I guarantee you though, he'll be playing in the <laughs> after party at Amsterdam. Oh man. I love that you guys already have the shirts, the hats. It's just amazing out there. So the Bolts win tonight is no easy feat. Let's take a deeper dive into just how often back-to-back -back wins actually happen. There have been 16 back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champs, including the Lightning, since 1927, but it's been harder to pull off in recent history. The Bolts are only the fourth team since 1989 to pull off that feat and only the second team since the NHL instituted salary caps between 2005 and 2006. Our coverage of the Stanley Cup win does not stop here. We'll have more from Emily in just a few minutes here on Nightside. And as always, we have you covered on our free 10 Tampa Bay app too. It looks like we have a live look. Am I hearing that right from the producer? From back out there, we're going to have a live look. Look at the fireworks that we see right now as fans are celebrating this incredible win. As you heard there, our coverage continues. We have our team out there right now with the fans. You heard from a fan there. Just incredible to pull this off back to back. Just to think everything we've been through through the last year, all the work that this team has put in, and yet again, they've been able to pull off yet another Stanley Cup win. So exciting. Cannot wait to continue to see them hoist up the Stanley Cup. Oh, so exciting. Look at the fireworks there as they continue.